Okay, we'll start with the manage, re manage resources part. Basically, it coordinates everything that is going on in your computer. Uh, let's say, for example, what if you receive a message? Well, we're talking about your cell phone or a tablet, okay? What if you receive a message at some point? Um, let me write. You draw a nice cell phone. This cell phone is perfect. I don't care what you say. It's a great cell phone, okay? It's going to be a happy cell phone, <laughs> okay? So, it just uh, receives a message, okay? So, here's the message. So envelope. So what does it need to do here? Whenever it receives a message, it needs to coordinate the little motor that uh, is like a vibrator for you to know, like, okay, you've got a message, okay? And the speaker. Let me write draw the little speaker here. But at the same time, it has to manage some other devices, okay? Um, let me change the color here to a nice green. Okay, so it needs to store that message somewhere in your hard disk drive. No, it actually has a solid state drive. Okay, so it stores it somewhere and it needs to process it. What if that message is a GIF and so on? And it's to process it. I don't know, it connects a GIF or some music or video. That it's not like easy to just process and display, and it's something in the middle. And finally, the communication. I think it's pretty pretty clear that this is the communication. Okay, so the file structure means that remember that process we checked like a couple of weeks ago before the earthquake. Um, yeah, the thing that calling fetching. Fetching is looking for something. Uh, look for something. Okay, and looking for something or storing it. Okay, so that's the uh, the dual process. And uh, for uh, you to have like a file, you need to know where to find, where to uh, look for it, and where to store it. And you need a name. Okay, that's an ID. At the end of the day. Nothing more, but that. nothing more for that. So it is an ID, okay? And you need somewhere to look for it, okay? There it is. Now, the way an operative system organizes information is called a uh, file system. That's like the nice name, the fancy name. And uh, I've seen it that they've been asking this question for the last two or three exams. So you should probably be careful and look for that, okay? and know this definition by heart. I will make you happy people once again.